Taylor Swift, back in the news. No surprise there. But we're not here to talk about her record-setting Eras tour or her bright and shiny new bow on the Chiefs. We're here to talk politics and the potential impact she could have on the 2024 election. She doesn't exactly have the reputation of being political, but she's had her moments advocating for Democrats in Nashville elections and voicing her opinion in presidential races, too. She's taken to her social media account several times over the years to remind her Swifties to get out and vote. Hey, so we are all very stressed out about this election, rightfully so, I feel you. But allow me to be the one millionth person to remind you that tomorrow is your last chance to make your voice heard and to make your vote count. One month before the 2020 election, Swift posted these photos, a V magazine cover with the word vote in Democrat blue and Biden Harris 2020 cookies serving up a Joe Biden endorsement on a platter. It's something the Biden campaign is hoping to receive once again, according to a New York Times report out this week. Top aides for the Biden camp say they're looking at social media influencers to endorse Biden and have their followers follow suit. But Biden isn't the first high profile Dem to have this bright idea. Well, I think Taylor Swift stands <laughs> tall and unique. Now, I know you may not be as interested in Taylor Swift as so many others, uh, but what she was able to accomplish just in getting young people activated to consider that they have a voice and they should have a choice in the next election. I think it's profoundly powerful. There are actual numbers behind why Swift's endorsement really could matter. According to a new poll, 18% of voters say they would vote for whoever Swift votes for. When you look at the younger Swifty demographic, the ties run deep. 30% of voters under 35 say they will likely vote for the candidate Swift endorses. It's that younger demographic that is key. It's an age group that is largely loyal to the Democratic Party, so getting young people registered to vote could be seen as a strategy, something Swift is historically superb at. Last year, the singer called on her Swifties on National Register to Vote Day. Vote.org averaged 13,000 new users every half hour after her post went live. More than 35,000 people registered following her post. That's far from the first time either. This was a similar call to action from Swift in 2019. Within 24 hours of the post, Vote.org registered 65,000 people, outdoing their total registration for the previous month in a one-day span. Knowing that Taylor Swift can attract these kinds of numbers, and knowing that when she does offer endorsements, they favor Democrats, it has some Trump supporters like Vivek Ramaswamy sporting a new conspiracy theory about the upcoming Super Bowl. Throwing out predictions that Swift's endorsement could come during the Super Bowl alongside her boyfriend Travis Kelsey, who's playing in the game. Some going as far as to call the game rigged, that it's all meant to go in the Chiefs' favor in order to boost Swift's platform ahead of her pledge to Biden. However, Swift's influence over the Swifty army has proven it doesn't exactly need a boost from her NFL boyfriend. While 18% of voters in Newsweek's poll say they'll likely vote for the candidate endorsed by Swift, 17% said they'll be less likely to vote for the candidate that she endorses, leaving the large majority of those polled not feeling swayed one way or the other by the singer's political preferences, the majority leaving entertainment out of politics.